friends, Logan Mills here with Dream Guitars, and I have a live wire crossover from Bordelotso in the shop today. And not only is it a powerful, super projective, super expressive uh, crossover guitar, it's also a kind of a rich and warm and slightly round kind of um, just engrossing crossover, especially in the bass register and into the mids. Um, and that's by virtue of this guitar having a Malaysian blackwood set for the back and for the sides, um, plus uh, spruce on top that really gives this guitar just a little more depth and nuance and kind of you know dynamism, if you will, that is just draws you right in. Um, and great string energy, like I mentioned before. Um, some crossovers are, you know, like, it's almost like they're designed to be plugged in and the acoustic voice is not, you know, uh, big. It doesn't fill the room. This is not one of those crossovers. This is a crossover guitar that really just, wow, just like <laughs> fires out of the sound hole. Um, so if you want something to compete with other folks, for instance, uh, or just to have really good string energy, frankly. There you go. So let's go ahead and hop into it for a bit. Spruce on top with some nice banding um, in the, the grain, alternating colors, which just looks so good. Uh, while we're here, I will point out uh, Bordelotto's really cool cutaway design. I've, it just looks clean, you know? It just looks clean, it looks good, totally works. Um, gives you really great access to the whole fingerboard. And I just love the way that he makes it curve back like this and adds a strap button, um, also an in pin, so you can strap up into this crossover. So it really is a very modern you know, nylon string guitar. So yeah, uh, we have maple bindings uh, for the body, and I love the way that that sets off that uh, mahogany for the cutaway block through there. Just looks so good. And then Malaysian blackwood for the sides, which very dark set, um, a little bit of variation in the color there for a little bit of dynamism. Yeah. And then we have some fun ink lines on this guy too. Otherwise, very straight grain set, uh, which you know you're always looking for. <laughs> I like the straight grain quarters on stuff. And again, there's a strap button uh, here and an in-pin so you can strap up into it. So the neck is satin finish, unlike the gloss of the body, which feels really good in hand. Um, and it has a more of a, of a C-shaped neck to it, a uh, profile, excuse me, rather than like that flattened U that you would find on more you know, traditional classicals. And it has a slender nut width as well. So this very much feels, you know, almost like a steel string guitar. Um, Right at home, as far as I'm concerned, in my hands. Uh, squared off headstock, slotted headstock, of course. And here's a new feature uh, that Bordelotso is doing, is he is using this sort of an integrated nut, um, or the nut is set into the fingerboard. And that just looks really good. It looks really clean. Um, I just like that a lot. A few other makers do that, like Dion, for instance. Um, but frankly, more people should do that, I think. It looks really cool. <laughs> so. Um, if you want to learn more about Bordeluzzo in general or about this particular crossover guitar, give us a shout. Cheers.